Hello everyone, this is Stevan Loja from the UTC Cooperative, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use a Hyperledger Base Suit node on Windows. Before we get started, definitely visit the video description to find documentation on this tutorial, which may reference any uh, links, URLs, and will definitely help you follow along. Hyperledger Base Suit is an enterprise Ethereum client written in Java under the Apache 2.0 license. The best installation option for Windows users is to install via binary distribution. BaseU re requires the JDK version uh, 11 or greater, so you want to do Java uh, dash dash version just to see if you have Java installed. If you don't, then you need at least uh, JDK 11 or greater. JDK is simply the Java development kit. It's really easy to get. You could just Google install it, uh, JDK. Otherwise, Oracle has these nice uh, Windows installers that are um, pretty easy to get started with. And then you could go to the Besu GitHub repository and you under releases, you'll notice in the release notes that we have the uh, a link to the binary, fi binary file and you can simply click that and that will download. When that's downloaded, simply unzip and we'll take a look inside. Now that that's unzipped, uh, let's go in and you'll see the bin folder and this contains our uh, binary files to execute Bezu. And what we're going to do is we're going to rename this uh, folder to just Bezu and we're going to move it to our C drive in program files. And I already moved it in, in my C drive, but um, you know, that's what it should look like. And then when you click back into the bin directory, uh, you want to copy the path because we will use that to add basu to our path by going to environment variables and then search for path and simply copy that path into your, or copy the path to Besu and the, those environment variables. And when that's done, you should be able to run Besu from anywhere, anywhere within your command line. Before running uh, Besu, let's set up some basic metric tools to monitor the health and performance of our node. To begin setting up our, our metrics tooling, we're gonna download Prometheus, just download the Windows release. And then when you download that, simply extract the files. And we're going to do what we did, what we did with uh, Besu is we're going to take that uh, Prometheus file and we're going to move it to our C drive and program files. And I already did that step, but I'll just show you here. So in my program files, I moved the Prometheus folder in there. And you want to note the directory because you're going to have to add that to your path, just like we did with Besu. And you'll also notice this Prometheus YAML file. This is a Prometheus configuration file. And you're gonna to wanna to add this snippet into your Prometheus YAML, uh, YAML file. This is gonna uh, give the, the arguments necessary for Prometheus to access space here. And you can see here in my environment variables, um, just like we did with Besu just earlier, I did add that directory there. And now Prometheus can be run anywhere in my command line. Next, install Grafana. Just go to their website, go to downloads, uh, and of course we're going to run it ourselves and just use the Windows installer to install Grafana. Now that Besu, Prometheus, and Grafana is installed, I just want to give you an overview of the default ports that are going to be exposed here and just explain what's going to be going on. So the uh, Besu service is going to be running on 8545, and the Prometheus service is going to be running on 9090, and accessing the Besu service. And then the Grafana service is going to be running on uh, port 3000, and that's going to be accessing Prometheus. So Besu is going to be feeding Prometheus, and Prometheus will be 
uh, feeding Grafana. Now you're going to want to create a uh, bat file for your baseu service. In this example, I have start bat and I have all the arguments that I want when running baseu. Now in this example, uh, the really I'm not going to explain every argument in detail. Definitely reference the documentation to learn more about every argument here. However, something to note is I have uh, the flag network equals classic for Ethereum Classic, and the default sync mode for Basu is fast, which does use less memory. But I want a full node, so that's why I have sync mode equals full, and then I'm exposing, um, exposing and enabling my RPC endpoints. And then I also have the data path, which is going to be the data directory for the blockchain. And then I also have the uh, metrics enabled flag to enable metrics so Prometheus can access Basu. Now you want to create a start Prometheus um, bat file. And you can see here uh, the arguments I have is Prometheus. And then I have a config file. And that equals the path to the Prometheus uh, YAML file that we edited earlier. Finally, let's start uh, Basu by just clicking on the on the bat file. And that will begin to download and sync the Ethereum Classic network. I'll minimize that, and I'll start the Prometheus service. And I'll just minimize that. So the Basu service and the Prometheus service are now running. So I'm just going to go to the Prometheus dashboard now, which is on our local host uh, port 9090. And when I go to that, you're going to see a search field where I could just uh, query all kinds of information from my node and there's auto completion feature. For example, Ethereum block, uh, blockchain height will return the current block height of my node. And um, you can see that in, in a graph uh, format as well. And there's so much information that you could query from your node. So definitely have fun and play around with that. Now let's go to Grafana, which is on port 3000. And I'm just going to go to the plus sign and go to import and you're going to want to import dashboard 10273 and just make sure that's loading uh, information from Prometheus and once you do that you'll see Grafana is giving this giving you this beautiful data visualization about your node and um, as your blockchain syncs to the uh, latest uh, block height it'll populate all the metrics there's many ways to interact with the Basu API. Uh, I like to use the Postman collection, which is referred to in the documentation. And as you can see here, I already added that collection to my Postman tool. And um, yeah, and you could just start um, querying information and start interacting with the API. This will conclude our tutorial. Congratulations on running a Hyperledger Basu node to sync the Ethereum Classic blockchain with uh, wonderful metrics tooling and being able to interact with the API. Feel free to like, subscribe, hit the bell, because we've got a lot more coming for you, and I hope you all have a splendid day.